we move to the third presentation. I don't know if Dr. Hussein Al Isa is ready. Professor <laughs> Dua. Welcome, uh, Dr. Hussein. Uh, Thank you. It's a pleasure to, to hear from you now. Uh, the floor is yours about your article, uh, Strategic Orientations in Small Businesses, a Dynamic Capability Perspective. Please. Oh. <laughs> no, no problems with sharing the screen. Just one second. <laughs> this one, share. Can you see the slides? Yeah. Please, full screen. Yeah. Okay, so. Can you just click on show, make it bigger? Yeah, make it bigger, please. No, no, the next one. No, no, yeah. no. This one, okay. It's okay. Uh, so my name is Hassan Hakim al I was previously associated with, uh, affiliated with the Sharqi University. Uh, I was teaching management and strategic management and leadership courses. Uh, I have, uh, uh, today I'm uh, here to present a research manuscript titled Strategic Orientations in Small Business and uh, the Dynamic uh, Capabilities Approach uh, Perspective. Um, I'd like to begin with, by welcoming you with a short summary. Uh, next. Uh, this uh, study explores the link between strategic orientations as well as uh, the role played by them in impacting um, business performance. Uh, competitive uh, advantage is also examined as a potential mediator to the uh, strategic orientations performance association. Dynamic capabilities is also investigated as a possible moderator. So all these are uh, uh, strategic business uh, concepts. Uh, if I'm sure we are all familiar with them in uh, policy making and strategy. Uh, it can be there. There the the study is a bit abstract, but the application can be seen in many areas uh, of uh, firm uh, strategy in every day small business, medium-sized, or large business. The data was collected for, from Tripoli uh, in Libya uh, during the current economic uh, crisis uh, that's, uh, that uh, has been uh, caused by the civil unrest that uh, you might be familiar with if you follow the news in uh, North Africa, especially in Libya. Uh, the COVID-19, of course, the pandemic hitting everybody uh, and uh, mostly the small business owners. And that's the interest uh, and motivation behind the study is to see the everyday person. How are they surviving? How are they the everyday businessmen? I mean, how are they or businesswoman? How are they? Today is a very gender. <laughs> so you have to watch which gender we talk about. Uh, so PLS was used to analyze uh, the data on a hypothesis testing for the 168 uh, responses that were collected. Uh, the findings showed that the constructs are instrumental in responding to economic downturns and results uh, 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 in better performance if mediated by and mediated to competitive advantage. The study is original in the attempt to investigate the uh, resource based view. It integrates the resource based view with the knowledge based view with the dynamic capabilities view. So, uh, in order to study these uh, concepts, constructs, strategic orientation, competitive advantage, and firm performance, this has not been done before, combining all those three uh, theories to study uh, concepts like this in small business, especially. Um, here's an outline of the presentation. It shows the sequence of these nine uh, important sections uh, that I would like to share with you today. Uh, the 
let me start with the sector. This is the sector issues that motivated the study. The crisis disrupts entire systems. Excuse me. And threatens survival of uh, firms. Uh, and so to competitively position uh, the organization and prepare it in such fast-moving, disruptive environment, entrepreneurs and managers must devise plans that warrant imminent survival. Uh, Libya does very poorly when it comes to entrepreneurship, as stated by the most recent uh, report uh, and by the Global Entrepreneurship Index that showed Libya ranking 114th out of the 137 countries that took part. Uh, consequently, firms configure their resources and dynamic capabilities to devise strategic orientations to adapt to fast changing environment. So we got an idea of how uh, uh, that disruptive systems uh, can um, impact organization performance. We saw that uh, the back, this is the background to give you an idea of how it is, how tough it is for small business owners in Libya and the, infra and the poorer infrastructure that they have to go through and live with in order to survive uh, and, and thrive, hopefully. The, uh, the ability of firms to sustain performance during tough times, tough economic times, is a capability rather than a result. Uh, limited research has been uh, done on strategic orientations and how it impacts real crises real, uh, in real situations, not hypothetical uh, situations. There are limited studies on that. Numerous calls for exploring moderators between strategic orientations and performance has been uh, uh, asked. Uh, numerous calls also for integrating theories, like I mentioned earlier, uh, with concepts and constructs and models. Um, next here, uh, the, from the mentioned analysis, the following obje three objectives emerged uh, uh, for the study, where we examined relationships between strategic orientations and competitive advantage and performance, determine mediating effect of uh, competitive advantage on the relationship between strategic orientations and firm performance, and to evaluate the dynamic capabilities uh, as a moderator between uh, strategic orientations and, and firm outcomes. Uh, next here we have uh, the, this is the research model. And it shows all the constructs and the relationships. Uh, with uh, hypotheses, seven hypotheses were uh, uh, were uh, prepared, were I mean, presented. The figure on uh, shows also the uh, that what's the strategies and the antecedents to crisis preparedness. Sorry. Um, next, we have. The methodology used uh, is quantitative research methodology. The data was collected from entrepreneurs in Tripoli city. Um, it was done uh, through uh, uh, snowballing method of uh, simple random sampling, where you give, uh, you ask an, a business owner to, uh, for other uh, uh, friends and colleagues and uh, partners, uh, who are similar to him, uh, to ask them to fill out also questionnaires. Uh, it's a it's a tough uh, it's a tough it's it, uh, a tough uh, city to collect data. There are many multiple checkpoints. There is a, uh, there's militias. There's a war happening, kind of a civil war, dormant that erupts once in a while in Libya. So it's very hard to collect data. The 168. The questionnaires were very difficult to collect. Survey questionnaires were used from previous, uh, like you can see here, previous uh, instruments used and validated. Um, also, SPSS was used for the descriptive part of the analysis. 
pilot study was conducted on 40 uh, individual entrepreneurs to validate the instrument. The aim, of course, of this study was to test hypotheses, structural model that I showed previously, uh, to verify the theories underpinning the framework, right? So that's... Uh, um, next here uh, are the findings of the, uh, of, uh, of the uh, study and the data analysis of the collected data. And it showed uh, mostly accepted uh, hypotheses, except when it comes in the end here towards the uh, relationship with uh, the moderating relationship between dynamic capabilities and, uh, and between uh, orientations and performance. Um, the the first objective of the study was to to determine uh, the relationship between strategic orientations and um, and uh, competitive uh, advantage and the there were two let me go back there were two hypotheses that were rejected here the first two um, which is learning orientation and entrepreneurial orientation with outcomes with competitive advantage. Those are most likely rejected because small, uh, from my discussions with the entrepreneurs, understanding of the uh, business environment in Libya, uh, I was able to conclude that uh, small businesses may feel that they do not possess the tactical uh, knowledge because of their size, they don't have access to information. They lack uh, experience in different environments. It's closed off society, right? From the rest of the world, especially now with the, with the crisis, since the crisis since 2011. Um, and the hectic, uh, constantly changing environment and crisis makes it even harder for business owners. So that's the main reason, I think, for some of the like dynamic capabilities that require and learning orientation uh, with firm performance, usually, typically, it has a positive relationship, but in this case, it doesn't because of the nature of the environment. The crisis is extreme. Um, also, entrepreneurial orientations are very wasteful of strategic uh, uh, resources. Uh, they, are, they, are, um, they are useful for companies trying to launch, start businesses, aggressively in a competitive environment, but when extended over longer periods, they waste resources and there's too many risks being taken um, that adversely affect the, the, the performance of, of, the, of the firm. Uh, the second objective was to determine the uh, mediating effect of uh, uh, a competitive advantage uh, on the relationship between strategic orientations and firm performance. This one had one, five, it's uh, H5C, hypothesis 5C was the one rejected here. It's in the middle, somewhere in the middle. I don't know if you can see my mouse here. Um, so here, uh, the learning orientation- Dr. Hussein, sorry, two yes. minutes. Two Before minutes left, okay. Yeah. I have two more slides, so I should be good. Um, so here in the obje and second objective, again, learning orientations uh, keep coming up. So again, um, small businesses uh, lacking experience, lacking um, resources to, to spend time to learn, to take their time to learn about the environment, about business tactics that may work for them. Uh, the third objective was to evaluate the dynamic capabilities as a moderator. And again, uh, the, most of the hypothesis seven was rejected, all of it actually. And that tells us that there is a, there's a line of past research also that found uh, it might be due to factors like uh, magnificence, industrial complexity, 
firm size, age. So there are many other uh, variables that I could have added to study. So this is one of the, that brings me to the, uh, to the, uh, where am I? To the limitations of the study. So if I had added uh, other variables like firm size to control for firm size and, uh, and experience, it would have helped in the analysis part. Uh, the study, uh, uh, however, contributes uh, through uh, um, investigating performance in actual crisis and merging and or integrating the theoretical uh, underpinnings. And it also helps uh, policymakers in allocating resources to the right place uh, through the right uh, channels. The limitations uh, against the small sample, uh, cross-sectional, uh, future research should uh, conduct a, a bigger, larger sample and a longitudinal study. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much, you. Uh, Dr. Hussein. So please remember, if we all help and do a little bit, it will make a big difference.